Hi, my name is Andrew Shaw. I'm a retina surgeon in Central Alabama, and I'd like to talk about my experience using the NIDAC YLC500 yellow laser. For patients with central serous chorioretinopathy, the NIDAC yellow laser offers several advantages over a conventional green laser. First, the yellow laser targets oxyhemoglobin, so there is less heat spread and creep, thus making it safer for laser in the macula. Second, it has a low power mode that stimulates the RPE while not causing coagulation or damage to the RPE. Third, it has an auto forwarding feature to ensure confluent treatment of the area of leakage. This is the fluorescein angiogram of one of my patients with central serous, showing two areas of leakage in the macula that I treated confluently using low power mode. On OCT, there is resolution of subretinal fluid one month after I treated using the yellow laser low power mode. The other feature that really sets apart the yellow laser is its ability to do pattern. I am able to safely do PRP in less time and patients have less pain with the pattern laser. If there is a patient with severe proliferative diabetic retinopathy who I'm worried about non-compliance, I can do a complete PRP in one session. In this video, I'm performing a PRP grid laser with auto forwarding feature. If I keep my foot on the pedal, the laser automatically advances to a new area and delivers nine spots of a square three by three grid to each area. One can customize the grid to make it smaller or change the shape of the grid as it has 22 selectable patterns. In short, I find the Nidec yellow laser has enhanced my ability to treat safely in the macula and to more efficiently perform PRP. Thank you.